you are in your fourth semester and you already know HTML, CSS and JavaScript and now you are interested in blockchain development. So before you start learning about blockchain development, you have to know what type of blockchain development we have in the industry. What is the requirement of the blockchain developer in specific fields? So we have full stack blockchain developer. We have a core blockchain developer. We have a solidity a smart contract developer and we have auditor. So there are multiple segments you can narrow down and go further. But in this video, I'll talk about full stack blockchain development because that's what I teach generally and that's how I work in the industry. And I can see huge potential. If you are absolute beginner, then you have to focus on full stack blockchain development because there you will have a chance to get into yourself in the industry. If you go to the specific one like auditing, smart contract, core blockchain development, there you need experience. So those companies going to hire you, they want you to have experience, then they will give you the work. So it's better to first focus on full stack blockchain development. Now come back to the technology. You already know HTML, CSS and JavaScript. These are the three building blocks you need to know if you really want to build a front end where user can come and interact with your smart contract which you have deployed on the blockchain or if you want to get the data from the blockchain, you're going to use these tools to build a basic front end where user can interact. So you already have the foundation. I want to ask you first thing that how is your JavaScript because JavaScript is the most important programming language if you really want to become a blockchain developer. If you know JavaScript, your 90% work is almost done with all the frameworks, all the technology. So let's talk about the frameworks we have. We have Ether.js, Web3.js, Next.js, React.js, all of these frameworks are written in JavaScript, which you're going to use heavily when you're going to build any front-end app, when you're going to interact with the protocol, when you're going to get the data from the blockchain or make an API request. So JavaScript is very important. So try to understand the JavaScript programming language properly that how you can declare a variable, how you can write a function, how you can get the data from the API, how you can deconstruct the data, how you can design the data as per your requirement because the different application require different data structure, which you're going to definitely build. And all of these things are basic in JavaScript. So be good in JavaScript. I want to say that don't need to be 100% master. Just try to be at least 30%. Once you get that level of confidence, you have to build project. Just build one or two project. After that, you are comfortable with the Web2 technology, JavaScript. Now you have to learn Solity. Solity is the most important programming language right now as per the smart contract development. And the reason why I'm telling you to learn Solity rather than focusing on Rust and Goland and any other programming language which you can use for writing the contract because Solity has been in the industry for quite long and majority of the contract which you will find in EVM compatible chain, whether you talk about Binance, Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, you will find majority of the contracts are written in Solity. And when you will get stuck in any contract or when you want to use any kind of libraries, you will find multiple options when you will write the smart contract. So first focus on Solity, there you will find multiple library, there you will find multiple framework, there you will find multiple support groups which will help you when you will get stuck from any one of the bugs. So you will have a lot of advantages when you will go with the Solity. And there is a lot of demand for the Solity developer as well. So first focus on Solity, try to be good in that. And if you be good in JavaScript in the class constructor, it will help you to learn Solity very quickly. So if you know JavaScript, then it won't take you more than 10 to 15 days for understanding the Solity smart contract and how you can define a function, how you can declare a variable, what type of data types we have, how we can mutate the data, how we can store in the event modifier. So these are the basic concepts which you have to know. After JavaScript, learn Solity. Once you're done with the Solity, build project, build project. The more project you will build, then you will get the actual familiarity that how contract exactly built, how we can execute the contract on the blockchain, how we can write the data in the contract and get the data from the blockchain. So this is, will help you a lot when you will start building on the project. So first, you already know JavaScript, you already know HTML, CSS, so you can build a front end. You can use any framework like Next.js, React, we already have tons of project on our channel which you can simply pick and try to replicate whatever I have explained, whatever I have built. Just build exactly the same way. Once you build the project, sit and try to analyze that what exactly we have developed, how we can make it better, how we can add one more feature. So when you will add four to five projects in your portfolio, then you will have a proper understanding. These three projects is absolutely must. NFT, DeFi or any kind of communication like decentralized chat application we have. This three project is absolutely must. You have to include in your portfolio. So go to the blockchain coder. There you will find the startup file. Download the startup file and simply start building project. So this should be your roadmap. You already know these three things. Now you have to focus on Solity programming language. And I already have a complete blockchain developer course. If you want, you can simply check and have a look that what are the things you're going to learn and what exactly you're going to build it. Just have a look, okay? So that should be your roadmap. If you are a beginner and you are in the fourth semester and you are interested in blockchain development. So learn Solity. After that, build project. And once you build one or two projects, the three projects which I have recommend you, after that start applying for internship, applying for a job. Like in the first go, you will not get it. Definitely you will not get it. You have to apply constantly. You have to find similar people on social media platform like LinkedIn. Follow 
the discord server there you will find community so you have to do a lot of efforts and when you will do that you're going to build your connection you're going to know that what exactly happening in the industry so first you have to focus on your skill once you have the strong skills then it would be easy for you to get a job and internship in the company that should be your roadmap as you have said that you are in fourth semester you have enough time you can give like last six to seven month and you will be a very good blockchain developer trust me if you give your hundred percent and learn and build project you will be a very good developer so that's my take on this i hope now you have got your answer if you have any question you can definitely let me know in the comment section i'll try to help you on that have a wonderful day bye, -bye.